Welcome to Food All You Never Wanted to Know. We're in the hoop house and it's going to be down in the 30s tonight. And we didn't, I don't expect that it's going to be warm enough for these guys. So over in here, this will be fine. The rutabagas will be fine. Ooh, these will be fine. Wow, the broccoli will be fine. But not the tomatoes. So we're doing a little quick version of getting these back into the house because going up and down those steps on the deck is a little bit difficult. We have done it before going up and down the stairs, but it was getting a little bit risky. And yesterday it was so windy that I was actually afraid these plants were going to get broken on the way down. So this is a way we can take two trips in the car and we have them back in the house. Okay. So we're taking these and we're getting them into the car. This is a lot quicker. Lots quicker than walking them up and down the steps and a lot safer. It's getting a little hazardous. Now, if you notice, I have these ones are the ones that I'm planning to sell. These I might sell to individuals, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if I find customers. <laughs> and a bunch of those. A bunch of those we also plan to grow. These are some itty bitties that we just potted up yesterday, I believe. Gardener's Delight, these are delicious. We have a whole bunch of different ones there. Black Crim, Brainy Wine Orange, and Jubilee. Look at these on. We have some brandy wine reds. These are all heirlooms. Lots more Jubilees. <laughs> and there's one more left. Where am I gonna put that? <sighs> this is a good reason to get a car that you can put the back seat down. Bunch of black crims. So this is it. We're gonna get them in the house. Hopefully they'll stay warmer tonight than they would out here. We have the lights, the ones under the lights. More bumblebees. Brad's atomic grape. I've never done that one. It gets striped kind of greenish purpley. Large red cherry, gardener's delight, lots of big reds and Paul Robinsons. Schmick Craig. Guys, you can't get this anywhere. Um, uh, maybe in Europe. I started seed, seed saving that back, back in the 1990s, I believe. Anyway, Dagma's Perfection, a beautiful orangey, red blushed, big, sweet tomato. It's marvelous. More bumblebees. More Dagma's Perfections. Black cherry. Don't miss the black cherry if you've never had it. Oh my goodness, it is so, so wonderful. And yellow pears. Some of them I've potted up, some I haven't. So this is an exciting time of year. Oh, here's a picture of the Brad's Atomic Grape. I don't know, folks. <laughs> we'll see if we like them. We see if we get the rest of them potted up to sell. So. Anyway, this is very, this is an exciting time of year for me. I love doing it. And I also have some, some of the micro dwarfs, the snicker jock and the jockalises just beginning to germinate in there. Those ones I'm going to seed save for so I can plant more of them next fall and winter. Here are some earlies that I started or sooner. 
and they're older. I still haven't potted them up. Hope to do this tomorrow. Glacier, it's a very early tomato, 55 days. It doesn't mind a little bit of cool weather. Garden Leader Monster is not that early, but I wanted to try it. Manitoba. Manitoba is one I've done in the past. Oh, more fireworks. And Oregon Spring. And Celets. These two. Look at Celets. 52 days. We shall see. Oregon Spring is 55 days. And I also have starred some peppers. This is oh, nuts. <laughs> Let's see. These are some peppers. Um, earliest red sweet pepper from Senior Gardening. It is supposed to take only 65 days to the red after transplanting. We shall see. Okay, some others that we're growing this year. Boxcar Willie. Big red, one I've never tried before. And some cherries, large red cherry. Oh, uh, what are these? More large red cherries. Hillbillies, more brandywine orange, more delicious. Pink bumblebee, purple bumblebee, I love those. Amy's apricot, which is an orange cherry. These are all cherries. And fireworks, folks. If you want an early tomato that's a decent size, decent taste, that's fireworks. Anyhow, this is food. All you never wanted to know. Let's see what we have over here. Ah, Paul Robinson's. That's a black tomato. More fireworks. More apricot, Amy's apricot, and Ildi. Ildi is one of those ones. It's a yellow cherry that just goes to town on being prolific. So, if you're not growing yet, don't miss the boat. <laughs> this is food all you never wanted to know.